There are two parts to this question. Should we edit DNA in a patient's somatic DNA, the DNA that's only in that person's body? And should we edit DNA in a patient's germline DNA, the DNA that they pass on to their children and their sperm or their eggs? Right now, the cautious consensus in the USA and some parts of Europe is that it makes sense to do therapeutic gene editing in a patient's somatic DNA because the patient or the patient's parents can give permission for the editing to be done. Not too far in the future, I could choose to have my tumor edited instead of cut out or to have my T cells edited to be resistant to HIV. Regarding germline editing, do I have the right to make these decisions for my children, my grandchildren, and all my future generations? Some people say no, that's taking too much power into our own hands. How do we know the edited sequence won't cause some other problem? The counter argument is that we've been passing our DNA onto our children for thousands of years without knowing what's in it. Is this really any different? Just because it's a human designing the DNA sequence instead of random evolution? Plus, if I edit a change into my child, couldn't my child edit it out for their children? Why prevent a cure now for fear of a future that might not come? So some people think that it's just too late for these genie in a bottle arguments. The technology is here, the applications are ready, and we have people in need right now. Gene editing for therapeutic purposes is already going forward. Perhaps we should be spending our time figuring out how to do it right, rather than worrying over whether we should be doing it at all.